next speaker is Professor Jean-Marc Chevalier in Paris. Uh, we will address the um, where he gains leaves with the conversion to uh, one anastomosis uh, gastric bypass, also called mini gastric bypass. Thank you. Allow me first to thank Sanjay for his kind invitation. I have come several times in Homerton, and it's always for me a pleasure to cross the channel and meet friends. So I have been studying the one anastomosis since 2006. And you see here, among the 1,585 patients, we had 65 sleeve gastrectomy failure. And actually, uh, it's easy to convert a sleeve into a one anastomosis because you already have the long and narrow tube. You just have to cut it and do the antero, uh, the gastroenterostomy. Uh, I wanted just to show you a, a very short video of one minute. No, it doesn't work. I ask the video to work. Where is it? I <coughs> do It was just to show you uh, how simple it is to do it, but uh, so, uh, we have published two, 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 two times. The first time is the, is how the first 50 cases. You see uh, here is the sleeve, the decrease of the BMI with the sleeve, and then the, the weight regain, and then the conversion into the one anastomosis, and the second decrease of the BMI. And here are the updating results that we recently published in obesity surgery, 72 cases, around two years after the, after the, the sleeve gastrectomy. The mean BMI was 50% and the mean BNI at the conversion was 43. <coughs> and here you see the, the weight loss after two years with a mean BMI of 33.9 33 with a stable with a BMI of 34. It means that it's not so good as for the primary one, anastomosis. I mean, the second race, a bit less. There is no difference. The principal concern with the one anastomosis is the limb length. Regular one was two meter, and we found that two meter could be sometimes dangerous. That's why we study one meter 50, and we didn't find any difference in uh, BMI loss if, if the, if the BPLIM is 1 meter 50, so we advise to, to bypass only 1 meter 50 because of that. So what we can do, we can say until now, is that in a weight regain after sleeve gastrectomy, as uh, Jack said, the re-sleeve should only be decided in case of technical mistakes. Uh, Re-operation re after Roux-en-Y uh, Roux or one anastomosis after a sleeve are less efficient than primary with a bit more complications. One anastomosis seems technically easier as uh, Rudolf wrote some years ago. Um, and I can introduce the next topic of uh, Antonio because, well, SADI, I think, has better weight loss in this uh, in these indications, but of course it's more challenging because of the duodenal dissection. Thank you very much.